as well as the job list to do. So we'll find out what's going on this evening. Here's the boat, as usual, always in bits. The standard bit of mess around the workshop. All right, let's check in with Gary and find out what's going on. No loads of back chat. That's all not right. going to help. So, all right. Right, come on right, in then, James. So, all right, just... then, Gary, what are we uh, up to this evening? So, we're going to run through the list of um, upgrades and repair of destruction. All right. So we start um, with the broken bits, I guess. Yeah, so not only was the prop shaft broke, but there's obviously the consequentials that we have to think about that maybe there's going to have damaged other stuff. And we've got cows coming up, so we really want to make sure that we've got everything yeah. covered. Um, valve clearance, compression checks, and camera. So, so, that, so right, am I right in thinking we, we broke a prop shaft, you, Jay? Yeah, and, and we that... properly over revved that engine for a split second like nine grand by the look of it. So right. there's a chance, although I have run it up yesterday and flushed it through, everything sounds okay, but sounding and checking are two different things. So that's tonight is visual checking the cylinders for any marks that valve contact, valve clearance, compression checks, make sure it really bent push rods, things like that. Oil filter analysis on there and the same with the gearboxes. So yep. train the oils, check the filters, same on the drives, see if we've sorted out the water ingress on the starboard Arneson that we had. Yep. And that there. Uh, fuel wise, we need to try and work out how much fuel we use on you know, part the distance that we covered so that we know that we've got enough for, for cows because we did change uh, the air fuel ratio a little bit leaner because we were running a bit rich, so hopefully it's a bit better on fuel. All right. Some maths to be done then. Yep, so we'll do that. Sink pressure, sinks were too soft, you can see in the video. Yeah. Down there, we need to make some more braces on the engine for a couple of other bits. We've got an oil pump looking like on screen that is wobbling around a little bit much, so we need to Tom cut his elbow, so a bit of seat padding, have an indicator's broken on the starboard side. Some of the gearbox pressure sensors need changing, and some repeaters to go up in the line of sight to try and make sure we yeah. can see out the window more than looking down. And that's for the nav on the navigation, isn't it? A little it? bit of navigation yeah, I mean. and a little bit head up to speed because critical for the next race yeah. is 120 mile an hour over speed. All right. And then on top of that, we need to obviously sort out the drive shaft and, and make it so that it's stronger and the shield. Yeah. So a little bit to get on with tonight. Well, that's it. We've got four weeks. See what we get done. Yeah, see what we get today. All right, so here's the failed prop shaft on the starboard engine. Um, what looks like it's gone is the, the yoke's actually shattered. Um, but luckily the guards that Gary built has uh, saved the day and not caused any more uh, damage to the boat. So lucky, I guess. Anyway, on with the fixing. It's probably slightly under spec sized for, for the power that's going through and uh, yeah it's not obvious that it's broken for another reason but and the plan will be to get a bigger one made and purchased luckily the prop guard saved the day here's the top side of it wells are broken i'll have to make a new one What pressure are we getting there, Gary? Uh, 120 and 122, so on about four cranks is all looking pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Let's see the plugs, Tom. They're a little bit rich, but at least they're even. Yeah, but we ran this engine in on idle, so um, yeah, done yeah, 30, a few 30 hours. miles on <laughs> idle. Yeah. Didn't really get. Didn't These ones look spot on, so we're hoping. <laughs> <laughs> Never safe in the boat. Um, these ones look spot on, and obviously this engine was shut down and flat yep. out. Um, so hopefully that one's the same once it's actually. Um, yeah. Okay, crank again, Dev. Fingers. Okay, 
okay. It was draining the oil out of the starboard arneson. It's, um, unfortunately there's a leak past the, water can leak past the seal on the sphere here. So, um, we have to change it every time. Okay, the oil's, the oil's starting to get cleaner, but it's still been fairly milky. Um, oh well, part of racing. 